Welcome back. I hope that you are in good health. Are you getting enough essential trace minerals? They can do so much for your body. Trace minerals refer to vital minerals that are needed in small amounts. These elements are absolutely vital to the upkeep of our biological functions. Yet we need less than 20 milligrams of these in a single day. That should speak volumes about the potency and significance of trace minerals. Anyone who wants to be at their healthiest needs to take in trace minerals on a daily basis. Zinc is considered the champion trace mineral. An absence of zinc results in a compromised immune system, stunned growth, insufficient liver function, and poor eyesight, among many other possible health issues. You can obtain sufficient amounts of zinc by regularly eating eggs, seafood, red meat, fortified cereals, and whole grains. Iron is part of many enzymes and is essential for growth, healing, immune function, and synthesis of DNA. One of the most important functions of iron is to transport oxygen from the lungs to different parts of the body. For adequate intakes of this essential nutrient, include foods such as beef, poultry, fish, soybean flour, spinach, beans, and fortified cereals in your diet. Manganese is a nutrient essential to proper enzyme function. It performs a variety of roles for the human body. From nourishing skin and hair, to facilitating calcium absorption, and even helping with the breaking down of carbohydrates and dietary fats. Good sources of manganese include pineapple, nuts, whole grains, and beans. Iodine is crucial for formation of thyroid hormones. Inadequate production of thyroid hormones can cause enlargement of the thyroid gland. However, you can get enough sufficient amounts of iodine by consuming iodized salt, seafood, eggs, and milk. Selenium is the ideal partner of vitamin E. Together with selenium, these two nutrients work as antioxidants that help protect cells from free radical damage. What makes selenium unique, among other trace minerals, is how harmful it can become. Too little selenium can cause muscle weakness and pain, while too much selenium can cause hair loss. Getting the right amount of selenium is the key to getting the most out of this trace mineral. Broccoli, cabbage, celery, onions, garlic, meat, seafood, nuts, and cereals are good sources of selenium. Fluoride hardens tooth enamel, reduces incidence of tooth decay, and may prevent bone loss. It is present in the body as calcium fluoride. While the main source of fluoride is fluorinated water, fluorine is also present in seawater fish, seaweed, tea, and coffee. Copper prevents damage to cells due to its antioxidant action, and as a component of many enzymes, it helps in production of energy from carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Copper is also essential for formation of bone, connective tissues, and red blood cells. It is present in many foods, including organ meats, shellfish, chocolate, beans, and whole grain cereals. Chromium is an important trace mineral that is necessary for normal functioning of insulin, a hormone that maintains blood sugar levels. It is also essential for metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Some important sources of chromium include liver, processed meats, brewer's yeast, whole grains, cheese, and nuts. Molybdenum helps activate some enzymes and enables normal cell function. Dietary sources of molybdenum include milk, legumes, green leafy vegetables, whole grain breads, and nuts. Insufficient intake of these trace minerals can cause symptoms of nutritional deficiency. Your needs for these nutrients are easily met by eating a variety of foods from the different food groups. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.